The International Business Times has a great article exposing the corruption of Andrew Cuomo, the Democratic governor of my state, New York, and Barack Obama. So uh, they really do a great investigative report. I'll get to the specifics in a second here. But they're discussing the company uh, General Electric, which uh, is coming back to New York. They left a while ago for reasons, again, we'll get into here. So they're coming back, and Cuomo got them to come back, and he's bragging about it. But there's a really powerful reason why he shouldn't be bragging about it. And if anything, he should be ashamed to admit that he's bringing them back here. So they say the following, quote, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo last week proudly declared that he had successfully lured General Electric into coming home. It took 50 million in taxpayer subsidies to convince the company to build a new manufacturing facility in upstate New York. But this was money well spent, Cuomo asserted, uh, noting that GE used to be such a big part of this community and provided so many jobs and was such a vital player in this community. Cuomo is now pushing to authorize an additional undisclosed amount to entice GE to relocate its corporate headquarters from Connecticut back to New York some 40 years after it left. The welcoming rhetoric from the New York governor presents a stark change from recent years in which GE was known throughout the state as a large-scale industrial polluter. During the mid-20th century, the company dumped more than one million pounds of chemicals linked to cancer into the Hudson River. Okay, so you're beginning to see the picture here, and you're beginning to see why this is a problem. Number one, he gave them a giant subsidy to come back here. Are we okay with that? Did you talk to us, the people of New York, as to whether or not we want that? I don't want my fucking tax dollars going to bring this company back here, especially when they're notorious polluters. They destroyed the environment here. They wrecked the Hudson River. And he's bragging about bringing them back here and doing corporate welfare to get them back here. That's nothing to brag about. They continue. Since 2009, the technology and manufacturing conglomerate has contributed more than $466,000 to Cuomo's campaigns and political groups that have supported his bids for governor, according to state and federal campaign finance records. Ah, there we have it. Pure corruption. Hey, we're going to give you money when you uh, run for office, and then when you get in office, you got our back, right, dog? He's like, oh, yeah, I'll be your bitch, absolutely. And then who gets fucked? The people of New York. Unbelievable. So, they promised to clean up their carcinogenic mess that they left behind in the Hudson River, and then they basically stopped, and they didn't fully clean it up. Now, here's the part of the story where... Obama comes in, quote, President Obama, whose EPA has approved the company's moves to begin demobilizing its Hudson River cleanup operations, was the single biggest recipient of GE campaign cash in the 2008 election cycle and has, during his career, received more than $600,000 from employees of the company, according to data compiled by the Center for Responsive Politics. GE has spent $155 million lobbying the federal government since Obama took office. Government records show that uh, show the company spent some of that money lobbying specifically on issues related to the EPA and the Hudson River cleanup. So there are your uh, lovely Democrats. There's your better political party in the United States of America. The ones that are less corrupt. The ones that are less stupid. The ones that are less primitive. And look at what they're doing. Just complete, uh, total, utter sellouts to corporate America. Oh, you're... Uh, dumping carcinogenic chemicals into the Hudson River and you don't want to clean it up now? Totally cool as long as you give me some money so that I can get more power and I can get elected again. This is what happened with Andrew Cuomo, the governor of my state. This is what happened with my president, President Barack Obama. So remember, man, the next time everybody tells you, well, you know, we always have to vote for the corporatist pro-establishment Democrat because the alternative is worse. No, what we should do, especially when it's not during the election season, is we should fight for systemic campaign finance reform in order to make it so that we don't have to settle for the lesser of two evils. We need to have politicians that actually represent us and care about us and do the right thing. 
because no politician that's actually concerned about their constituents over everything else can ever make this decision. To do corporate welfare that I didn't fucking approve, we didn't approve in New York, give money to a corporation to come back here, not clean up the carcinogens they already dumped in the river, and then probably continue to pollute and also not get regulated from here on out. It's a lose for everybody except Andrew Cuomo, Barack Obama, and GE.